uh, we do have a great interview today, guys. Uh, in fact, someone from my generation, Fabrizio Billy is with us. And Fabrizio, thank you for your patience. And I'm going to make you the presenter. Looking forward to hearing your voice and seeing your screen. Welcome to FACE. Hello. Hi, Fabrizio. Can you hear me? I can hear you fine. Okay, nice there. to meet you. Nice All right, to meet great you, to Thank you very much. Great to meet you. Thank you for taking time out of your day. And uh, uh, it's uh, we had a little chat this morning talking about some war stories. So we're we're pretty much from the same trading generation, uh, where we used to update our charts by hand and. My gosh, you were there for the 87 crash and you brought up firms like Solomon Brothers and the RJR deal. But why don't we start even a little further back and uh, you may want to go to your screen share when you want. I know you're, there's a few instruments you want to cover. Um, you're Italian, but you grew up in the U.S. Where did you grow up, Fabrizio? Well, uh, if you can hear me well, because sometimes there is some problem, some lag problem. Is that all okay? Yeah, yeah. We, can, yeah we can hear you fine. Very good. I'm happy for that. So, uh, very simply, I moved to U.S. and I grown up in U.S. and I own, I own everything to the United States. And I grown up there. Uh, very simply, I've been uh, I've been in different business, but always very much linked to uh, to all the financial uh, to the financial and to, to the exchanges. And my first trade, just to say, I'm 61 uh, in few months. So let's say that I'm not the best one uh, around, but actually the only point is that I've seen everything, <laughs> and that means something. That's experience, you know, and. Uh, uh, that's that makes you let me let me say I, I I grown up in U.S. and as I said today I'm I'm Italian so I'm a kind of a kind of talky guy you know that I'm sorry stop me uh, there if uh, if I exceed no go so ahead very very simple is that a uh, few things just to make the the all um, uh, the the all contribution a little bit more not a little bit more it's been very interesting I've been listening to you gentlemen and uh, you are very very skilled and very and and I and I agree with you. Uh, besides that, one of the main things is the first trade that I made, the first deal that I made was in 1980, April. Um, so I was a kid actually, 20, 22 or 23 years old. So um, at the first IPO, since I knew uh, Mr. Drexler uh, in uh, Gap, the first IPO was in Gap in San Francisco, and everything passed through the year, and 1987, the 19, Monday 19th, uh, Black Monday, I was in the Solomon Brothers floor in Victoria Station, and I've been part of that absolutely incredible, incredible moment, as a goosebumps moment, uh, actually, and, uh, and uh, that was a real thing, it was a real thing. Just to make a long story short and uh, everything, I, I'm, I'm trading, uh, uh, I, I, I had different lives, so I've been an entrepreneur. I've made, I'm taking care about M and A's and, uh, and etc. Et and I started as a fundamentalist, so um, very, very much fundamentalist. So in the, after a certain moment, after the finance kind of changes in 1987, after the Black Monday, I started to being puzzled and very much interested to, to uh, technical analysis. But it, you know, I consider just a tool. One of the tools, one of the most important tools that I can we can use, uh, together coupled with uh, the all the other tools that we have uh, available, which are fundamental and uh, all the uh, all, all the other um, topics that we that we have to cover uh, when we take a look at uh, at the movement of uh, of a name or whatever or or a derivative, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm 80 percent of derivatives, and the rest is on uh, on it stops. So sad. I don't want to be bored, boring at all. Um, I, if Dale is uh, allowed me, I would like to, to just to add. You said already everything on uh, on uh, on on on, on, uh, on FX on uh, CCY. 
So, but I, one thing that I that I've been watching uh, in three weeks ago was. Uh, yeah, we're not seeing your screen yet, Fabrizio. Okay. So you, you need to share your screen. You don't see my screen. Okay, let me see There's now. A screen, share, screen share function. Is it okay? Yeah. Can you see it? Not yet. Not yet. There we okay. go. Got there it. you are. Okay, yep. got it. Now let me reduce okay. this one. Okay, let's read this is one other way. All right, so we're looking at Treasuries and Dixie. Okay, can you see it in full? Yes. Okay, so th this is a very interesting thing. Uh, um, let's call it, uh, to make a long story short again, uh, th there is a strange uh, and a strong divergence, uh, or let's call it a spread between uh, the uh, UST bench, 10 years benchmark. Uh, you can find it even on the two or three years and even on the four weeks uh, uh, federal funds divergence between uh, um, between uh, uh, the the yield the uh, the orange one in shade is the yield of the right. the, 10, the USD and the and the magenta one is the uh, the XY. Okay. Um, uh, as you see, there is a strong divergence, and that that puzzled me uh, because generally speaking, there is an, there is a main mean reverting. Generally speaking, there is of course large there is some uh, uh, some divergences and then mean reverting action and uh, the opening is coupled together and in this moment uh, uh, again to make a long story short I see a much to spread divergence especially in front of what we, we uh, the of the outer, yeah in front of the outlook that we have which is a, a 90 92 percent profs uh, um, probabilities of uh, a, a high compressed in uh, in December uh, of 25 basis points. Of 25 Let me ask you, points. Fabrizio, is uh, mean reversion part of quantitative analysis that you said yeah. you do quant? Okay, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, absolutely. So generally speaking, if, if I don't if I don't bore anybody. Uh, generally speaking, the two uh, names, the two assets, or, or, or however you want to call them, they generally speaking diverge and they they converge. So that's a, it's generally speaking a pair trading or a convergent convergent convergence trade. So uh, in this case, as you can see now, I let me I let me show you a little bit more. Uh, as you can see, the uh, the price action of the uh, USD yield, of course. Uh, Talking about the yield uh, of the USD or the benchmark ten years, uh, it's always almost very much close to the uh, to the um, to the price of the XY, and sometimes they uh, they diverge, but then the mean reverting reverting action uh, comes in. At this very moment, uh, with the outlook that we have, the economic outlook, the monetary act, monetary policy action um, outlook we have, there is a very strong strong and strange direct, uh, diver, uh, divergence and spread. So uh, three weeks ago, I, I, I've been watching carefully this one, and I said, uh, what the hell, it's something, something gonna change. So very likely the mean reverting, uh, there is a, a number of tools that I have uh, through the, my, my, my platform through ICON, which is the, uh, the Thompson Rogers icons, which is the, uh, the, the brother of uh, BBG Bloomberg. And uh, I can calculate everything at the weight of the difference of the pay trading, et cetera, et cetera. But that's not a point. So I said, let's try uh, a, a different trade. So I started with a strength of DXY, uh, even if it was against the outlook. Because if we're going to, and that would be 92% profs uh, probabilities uh, in December. So uh, even if it's against, uh, something could 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 happen and very simply give it gave a good a very small yield uh, two weeks ago friday or two weeks ago or two or three weeks ago and then actually diverged uh, completely so that was the my first driver in terms of uh, how how to understand uh, starting from the starting from the uh, to the usd uh, yield uh, but then, so is, is your best guess that the dollar catches up with yields climbing, or correct. that yields drop 
to reflect the weakness in the dollar? Uh, exactly the contrary. So uh, the, what, this wasn't a pair trade per se. So I use I took this uh, configuration in order to see that there was something uh, uh, that was a strange uh, the, the divergence. So I suppose I didn't make a, a pair trade that was the correct the correct trade. So to short the yield and to buy the currency the the, the big swipe. So at the very end, my assumption was wrong uh, because it just moved uh, in, uh, uh, in it we, uh, had a, a certain weakness uh, uh, for let's say two days, and then start to um, started to to move uh, uh, to move a um, little bit ahead, and then we changed the dip try chart, and that's that's we're talking about technical lines again. So uh, right here, as you can see, there was a head and shoulder, and a very clear, a very clear, very nice, uh, a, a, a so-called uh, negated Gartley. And, and what happened uh, is that uh, we've been able to get a very short, I've been able, we as a fund, able to get a very short uh, profit, and then everything reverses. Um, this is the why, yes. Um, on on euro, sorry, that's that's the uh, the XY. Let me get to euro. Yeah, they both that, had head and shoulders formation. Yeah, yes. This okay. one, this one was very good. Yeah. This one was good. I got I got this. All this. I'm sorry for the clustered chart, but this is an operative one. Okay, I, I'm really sorry for that. Uh, I like to have a, a clean chart when I. Yeah, when we I were commenting it. on the. Euro head and shoulders top, the breakdown, yeah. that it was taking too long for it to accelerate to the Correct. downside. That made us think it was a trap. Uh, yes, and I did too, uh, because it was a negated head and shoulder, because the neckline was, was, uh, was uh, negating somehow. But at the very hand, all those levels are old. Uh, let's say uh, three, two and a half weeks uh, old. Um, so I got I got this part uh, in in short, and then uh, actually I've been obliged to reverse. Uh, if I'm not too long, let me explain you one thing. I always try to work covered. So what it does it what does it mean? Um, that I have two different accounts. So I'm long on one part, and I cover my delta uh, of twenty five percent. 30%, 50%, or completely neutral, 100%. So I expect I only going to pay the, um, if I'm on the 60, uh, I'm paying nothing because I have no swap. If I'm on the spot, uh, I pay, of course, the, the swap. <clears throat> okay. Of course, wait. Uh, and uh, in that case, I wasn't covered at all. Uh, so as you probably understand, I, I keep on let run the, uh, the uh, winning, the uh, profiting leg, in this case was the uh, euro leg, and uh, uh, keep or reduce the uh, losing leg, in this case was the DXY leg, and I expect uh, the ex price exhaustion, uh, as, we, as we probably all know, know and then at that point, I uh, drop, I dump the uh, the winning leg, and I expect and I and I wait for the losing leg to reabsorb. Uh, in this case, the trade wasn't done in that way. Um, and very simply, uh, euro stop at a very. Uh, let me get one second in. A euro uh, DXY moved perfectly at this sensible level here in magenta and he stayed uh, sideways for a while moved a little bit higher and then uh was last week and then uh thursday uh tuesday last week exactly if i remember properly um or, 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 or thursday last week and uh, and then came down at this point, was absolutely clear. You gentlemen already said everything. Okay, I'm trying to to explain my my operativity, if there is any interest in it. And so at this point, once it took it took away this level, where which is of course a sensible level, I was definitely convinced 
uh, as far as the long that I'm convinced of something, but I, when I enter a trade, I always know that I'm wrong and I let the market let me know that I'm right. So um, I always, since 20 years, 22 years, I always know that I'm wrong and I let the market let me know that I'm right. Uh, so the reason why why I'm, I'm somehow covered, especially in those markets, not a market that is different now from uh, from 20 years ago. Um, so once it took away this way in an impulsive way, and with this different uh, these were different formations, I knew that euro was unstoppable. So let's short uh, uh, move back to euro. As a matter of fact, euro uh, relied on uh, uh, lie down on the on the sensible level. Here, uh, the magenta one here, it's the key point. So once the, this key point will be taken away, euro will be absolutely, uh, there is no, um, the downside is completely uh, free. Uh, so the, for euro was a free fall. And uh, actually it's been kept up. Uh, there is another point, there is a large number, about a one billion and a half on, in uh, expiration on uh, a New York cut expiration in, in options and FX options here, uh, and and that's been defended fiercely by the uh, by institutionals for this level. And this further um, uh, hint uh, told me that uh, from this point on, passing by all these different levels, uh, euro was unstoppable in some half. So, um, to make a long story short again, uh, so those what, about here, what about from here, my trading warrior brother? Say it again. What, what about, about from, from here? here? We got, yeah, from here we're going to 2022. 20, 20, 20, okay, 122. So you're uh, up. One, 122, uh, which is this level, this I line land is 122.05. Okay. Uh, and and what are those green lines based upon any kind of fib levels or okay uh, just uh, supply demand zones how do you come okay. up with these different colors uh, okay uh, for pivots okay this one is uh, a key level uh, in which market uh, euro will very much likely indeed it's a double top indeed react so we'll have a, a pullback as much as this one here, which is a 76, 78.6, perfectly, and the 76 or A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, perfect, manual. Again, from here to okay. here, to here, to here. This is my, my way to, uh, to operate, very simple, uh, even if it look, can look uh, somehow complicated, which is not. Uh, so I knew that here, and this is a level in, in orange, uh, he just uh, felt it, pulled back. Here is another good point, which was another sensible level here. Good point to enter again, buy back, buy, buy again the pullback, and uh, maybe uh, load it up even more than before, and cover up my position of about 25% my delta of a 25% in the XY or another kind of reciprocal. I use the XY or I use the same, uh, uh, the same spot, the standard spot, or I use uh, uh, US dollar uh, CHF uh, for what it could be because it's the speed between the CAF, the, CAF, the, the Swiss dollar, the Swiss franc right. is, is different. So, um, Every, every one of those are sensible levels, and I canceled everything in order to, to render not too much to clutter the, the chart. Our sensible level where this is an objective, this objective has been taken away, this is another objective, this is a sensible level, this is another objective that I'm waiting for, and step by step I get over there. This, this point is a tough, tough point, this is a tough level in which I expect to uh, the, the, the euro to come back again a little bit or to break it up impulsively if everything happens in the way that, 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 should, that should be. Uh, all the monetary policy uh, speeches, uh, Mr. Governor Draghi and uh, Mrs. Yellen, et cetera, et cetera, and then what we're gonna see. 
Uh, How did you come up with 122 and fractions for being a final target or a target for this move in the euro? What methodology did you use to come up with that number? Fibonacci. Okay. And that's Absolutely. an extension? It's an extension. It's an AB a, equals CD in a, of the different degree, of a higher degree or of a lower degree. It depends. There is a different ones. Right. And or very simply uh, could be one, two, two, one, uh, one, uh, one, two, one, hundred, one, two, seven, two. Right. Uh, which is my key point. I always work on 1272, 1.414, 1.618, uh, uh, or 707, uh, uh, all those kinds of things that uh, everybody uh, everybody knows, which are uh, with, with, with that kind of approach. Okay. Um, uh, final point uh, uh, is, final objective is, is again, as I said, uh, 12205. And this is for, for the euro. Of course, there is some interesting uh, uh, the mark uh, trend lines that I use very much. That gives me uh, that gives me uh, the break uh, up or down uh, to you see there is some downward downward and some others upwards. And uh, I know exactly the uh, software gives me exactly the difference the distance from one. Uh, for one top to the level, uh, I don't want to make it too complicated. Much okay, better did you say they were it. Tom DeMarc trend lines? Or you marked the trend? Tom DeMarc, okay. So okay, DeMarc, Tom DeMarc, yes. Tom DeMarc, yes, the TDM. Right. Uh, the TDM uh, uh, trend lines, uh, which right. are, I used them since uh, 2002. Uh, because I, I started with uh, Larry, for example, with Larry, with Bryce Glenmore, uh, Tom Lamarck, uh, so, but I, at the very end, I simplified everything and I, and I use my, my approach when we're talking about operativity, we're talking about money, we're not talking about just analysis and uh, when we are, when we make money, we have to enter in the right moment uh, and make the money, period, or not lose the money, which is, which is the, uh, the rule number one. Uh, or to cover our loss uh, with, uh, with, uh, with other things. Um, this is very much all uh, I've been, I prefer, sometimes I prefer to say uh, where I was wrong and the point in which I was wrong, my assumption was exactly this one. Uh, because here I was, I suppose that it was reverting here, close to going to here, and instead I was wrong. So. Uh, Little, little gain, good, little gain, uh, little loss. Let's say we get even, but uh, at the very end, now have the, the the picture is very clear. And excuse me for it to be long. Uh, why it went up? Because there is a certain reasons, a certain news. There is a strength in uh, in Germany. There is a strength in uh, in ACB. There is a, a large number of reasons. Otherwise, in my very own opinion, but that, that, that count zero, zilch, gurnish, zippo, nada, nil, my opinion, because what it counts is what is happening, what is happening now, not what I can I'm see. In, uh, right, you're right, but I'm also interested in your opinion a little bit more macro. So the big debate is, is this the beginning of a larger bear market in the dollar? Or is this just a bear market rally in Euro now that all the parity bears have been buried and the tombstone is up? And then uh, after this rally completes, we have another big wave down in Euro and up in the dollar. What do you think? Dale, uh, very straight answer. At this very point, my opinion is that dollar will suck. And euro will fly. Okay. Very right. very straight. At this point, two okay. weeks ago I was completely on the other point of, of on the other side. Uh, let's wait the 13. At the 13, I I'm not sure how much this price has been. This level has been already discounted by the market in terms of DXY or in terms of uh, of, uh, of uh, UST. But at, 
taken away those levels, in my opinion, very well, my, my very own opinion, the uh, dollar will sunk. Uh, I don't know how much. Uh, I will, uh, or at least I have my opinion. Okay. But uh, I can see, I can say, and I can see the euro is unstoppable in this moment. Unstoppable is a bad word, but I'd say that has a very strong, uh, it's so strong that it's, it's very, it's very complicated. Let's, let's see on the 60, on the 60, uh, which on the four, sorry, on the four, it's even sometimes more clear. Uh, when we see those kind of, of, of configurations, uh, uh, at the top, you see, uh, th there's not much. I mean, once he, he, he arrives, he yeah, then, gets, so, I guess. so a possible scenario is we get to 22, and that ends the wave that began all the way back at 103. And then perhaps we have a big correction from there, but then wave three or C begins to the upside. That would be the bullish case, right? So we go from one almost rally 20 cents and then maybe pull back 10 and then rally 30 or better. Is that a possibility? It is absolute enough as we as we say as we see the market with uh, one two three four five absolutely yes we are in, we could be at once we get twenty two we can get we can be in a major in a major degree uh, three exit yeah. and then we get down to a four which will be uh, of course a canonic four with not over not overlapping uh, and nothing at all. And then from there on, it could be even higher. Okay. But so go ahead. But there is there is uh, economic policy, uh, poli economic policy, uh, policy, um, ECB policy that will uh, indeed, um, let's say, excuse me, the word taint the uh, or manipulate or taint to the manipulate the the uh, the old structure the old the old, uh, the, old the old structure let's say because we work in on price structure or movement structure and this structure is very clear at the moment and uh, once we, I will see the the uh, the beginning of uh, of uh, wave four uh, corrective uh, not overextended uh, and not overlapping that would be good. And that will be the sign that to re-enter into Euro uh, and, and, and going on. And, and that way four could begin after we achieve one, two, two. In my own, very own opinion, yes, uh, okay. because that that will be the of the very extended uh, that should be one six one point six one eight of the of okay. the of the major in the, the major degree. And in that point, that would be could be happened even before. Uh, uh, honestly, I don't want to say, I don't want to be uh, much too banal or much too uh, elusive in your answer, in your question. <laughs> but uh, again, as I said, I, I trade what I see in this moment. And, and as, as I've been experiencing all those years, uh, now currencies, they react in a very different way than they used to do before. Um, it, 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 it was such a pleasure to interview uh, a lion-hearted guy that's been around for decades, that's still young at heart and passionate about the market. Um, it inspires me to keep doing my work to help people out. Uh, really glad to have met you, Fabrizio. Uh, I don't believe you have any kind of axe to grind. You don't sell a service. and. Um, uh, if I'm wrong, correct me. Are yeah, you correct? I don't say anything. I, yeah. I'm a prop trader and, and I have a fun. And, okay. and this is it. I mean, it's the only pleasure to say it's a passion. That I, got will never end. I, I die. I will die in front of my screens. That's the point. I, I got it. Live or die from <laughs> what you pull out of the candlestick. So, <laughs> yes. all right, buddy. So you're now my trading warrior brother. And uh, you, you were before, but I'm making it official now. And you're uh, my brother either. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm honored. I'm honored by uh, to be a host by you. you. Your gentlemen are very good, and I appreciate that you're very professional. And I esteem you very much, and you, Dale, very much. 
very very much. All right, Fabrizio. So uh, we'll we'll keep in touch and uh, understand you even do a little television. So we're kindred spirits on that level as well, uh, out of Italy. And uh, you could follow Fabrizio on Twitter at Warburg. What's the number? One hundred. Uh, Warburg one hundred. Yes. That's Warburg. it. Warburg 100, which as you just said, Warburg, it's it's my old corporation, Warburg Pinkus, yes. <laughs> yeah, I remember it. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for uh, bringing me back way before Lehman Brothers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, most people you talk to, they can't remember past Lehman Brothers. <laughs> so, uh, great to talk to a veteran who's humble. And thank you for sharing your views and your journey with us today, buddy. Appreciate Thank you to you, Dan, and to your to your host and to your to your people. And it's been a pleasure. I'm honored. Thank you and very Pips, much. May Pips rain down on you, buddy, for the rest of the <laughs> year and going forward. Okay. Okay. Let's stay in touch. All right. Okay, Great. Faith. That's that's Thank a wrap. You. Remember, don't just count your Pips. Count your blessings, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you Wednesday. Good hunting, and you have one hour take advantage of the Cyber Monday special. Adios. Ciao. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ciao. Bye.